All right, so that's the birch barrel. In this video, we're gonna unbox this. So if you like to hang out on an open flame and cook meat or cook food on an open flame, you're gonna wanna keep watching because we're gonna unbox this thing. It's a really cool product out of Bozeman, Montana, which is essentially a portable fire pit. It's a portable smoker and a portable grill. I ate off it this weekend with my friend Ryan Lampers at his Western Hunting Summit, which I'll put links into some B-roll footage, but I've been eyeing the product for about six months and when I was in Montana and Bozeman. I just had to pull the trigger on it. It's an awesome product. So we're gonna cook on it tonight, but it only took about 15, 20 minutes to put together pretty easy, only a few parts. All you need is a screwdriver. So let's unbox it and use it for the first time. Here it is. It's about 70 pounds in the box. Is this ours? Yeah. Can I sit on it? Sure. We're going to unbox it though. Okay, so as we unbox this, what you're first gonna see is the lid. The lid is unique because it has a nice build quality, a nice temperature gauge in there, so you can smoke your meat, so you can really fine tune the temperature. We're gonna talk more about that in a moment. What I wanna focus on is what holds the coals right there. And what's unique about that, when you see the barrel here, is you can move the coals up and down just by twisting them in those little rings. And that really enables you to fine tune the temperature, uh, the desired, whether you wanna use it as a smoker, you know, a grill or a fire pit. So that's it right there. You know, you can just grab this and pull it out of the truck or pull it out of your car and fire up anywhere you want, which I've used many, many times. And that's it put together. And what we're gonna do now here is assemble the tripod-like structure that enables the lid to move up and down. Now that's important because when you have your meat on there, you're grilling vegetables or whatever you are that you're grilling, you can actually pull the grill up with the lid. That's what's really unique about this. So that way you have really uh, great control over your temperature. And so I think this is what makes this product really unique because it's not just like an, any old barbecue where you know you have a grill and coals. You can lift and lower them based upon, their, so you see the lid moving up and down. And you can actually twist it and lock it with the grill. So you have your meat, your vegetables, whatever you're cooking right on there, pulls up with the lid really well built. I mean, super solid. My brother who is involved in manufacturing of, of steel and metals and things like that was like, Mike, this thing is built really well. So what you're going to see here is the grip enables not only the lid to be moved up and down, but the grill that is holding all of the things that you're cooking. For example, what you're going to see here is a cast iron skillet with some chicken, a whole chicken in there, and is able to lock the lid into the grill and move it up and down to adjust the temperature of the coals and move some wood and everything like that. So it's a really nice build quality and it can carry a lot of load. All right, Dee, what do you think of the birch barrel? I love it. What are you cooking in there? We're just testing it out. Group consensus. We love it. Amy? Mike. Yeah. All right, yeah. so uh, <laughs> first night. It was. It's nice and toasty. So we have it on the deck out here at my brother's house. And so yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so we're at Emigrant Springs Campground here. Rainier is staying warm by the fire, so we got the birch barrel out. Super easy, just pull it out of the truck, load it up with some wood that I had, and bam, we got a little fire. All right, so an example of a super quick meal, literally it took minutes. I got a package of bison, some bacon. Total cost was about $13, maybe $14. Just had some wood in the truck, found some kindling. Yeah? That's more. More wood? Okay. Hey, Bug, what do you think of dinner? Come here. Can you smell it? So cast iron skillet, little bacon, little bison, no complaints. All right, so it literally took about five minutes to cook. No ingredients outside of bacon and some bison. What I did is just using these welding gloves, put the coals here into this fire pit, and there was some half burnt wood. So we'll have a little fire, and then this is already cooled down to the point where I can put it in the truck and we can leave in about 10 minutes. Oh yeah, more wood, eh? All right. Ready for food? Okay. Well, my friends, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning all the way in. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please hit that like button. Definitely subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And full disclosure, I am not being paid to make this. I just wanted to share this with you. I like sharing innovative tools and I love small business, especially businesses that are creating products that encourage people to get outside. So definitely if, you, if you're into making fires, if you want to be outside more, support Birch Barrel. Go over to their website. Links will be below. I don't have any affiliate codes or anything like that, but if you tell them that High Intensity Health set, sent you, maybe they can 
can throw in a free t-shirt or something along those lines. So uh, fill out something on their website and let them know where you came from. And please support small business and get outside and cook food as nature intended. We'll catch you in a future video down the road. Bye now.